Red. Welcome to WGK Glass Art, everyone. Thank you for joining us here in the studio. Today, Sandra is demonstrating how we make our octopus. She'll be using the multicolor glass rod, which is one of our very, very special color glass rods. Right now, she has it on the preheater, so it'd be soft enough to shape and work on the torch. All right, let's go ahead and do an octopus. So this is one of our more complex pieces, definitely. What I can show you is the part where, so that really it, 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 it looks like an octopus already, uh, but I still have to kind of change the, the, the tentacles a little bit that it's nicely standing and not crooked and looking around the corner or something weird going on. So there's a bit more work in the end, but I can show you how to, to do the whole piece. So I guess as usual, you start with the, the head of the octopus. Is, is it called the head? Yeah. Is it called the head? Yeah. Right with no, is, the, is that the body? I don't know. I don't we know have some what research it's to do that. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the head is really just where the eyes are, isn't it? And then it has this big kind of sack-like thing. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so. that, would, that would be some something for another video. Yes. Or the names, yeah. the names for all the things. So anyway. for, for, I guess we're about two years, we've been getting requests for octopus, octopus, octopus. Right. And finally in June, we decided we're gonna do an octopus. We're gonna do it. And the first try turned out perfect. It was perfect. I fell in love with it. Uh, always when I do that part, I always think of a big nose. Yes. <laughs> it looks like um, if you watch SpongeBob, it looks like Squidward. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's what it looks like. So I'm always, I'm always thinking of a big nose when I do that. Maybe that helps, I don't know, but I, I think it does. So I'm attaching something that I can work on the front, but it can't stay for, forever there. Like with the birds, when you do the, 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 the tail and you have a tip on the tail, you usually you can put a uh, handle on there and then you can turn it around and work the rest of the piece really. That doesn't work in this case because that piece is still quite fat in diameter. So you want to get rid of that handle quite soon. Otherwise it creates a lot of stress in the piece when you take it off later, I mean. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of preparing a little sort of attachment down here where I can go on and around, work around and attach the tentacles later on. And then I'm gonna do the eyes. I'm gonna add the eyeballs. guys if you like what you're seeing please like our videos and subscribe to our youtube channel help us grow and also spread the word at what we're doing here at wgk glass art if you are in the pennsylvania football philadelphia specifically area we are in tough Kennebec, pennsylvania near Kennett square we're like an hour and a half north of baltimore we're not too far from delaware um, like 15 minutes away from Newark. So if you're in the area, we'll welcome you. Be happy to welcome you here in our gallery and our studio. And once you're on our channel, you can also check out our other videos. Maybe you'll find something else. We did quite a lot already. Um, so there is 
I think something for every taste on there. Meanwhile, so check that out. I think it's important for someone who has never seen lamp working before to realize that there is a lot of hand working really in, in there. It's really only really a few tools that we use, mm -hmm. no molds. I mean, there is a marble mold, but I'm not aware that I'm ever using a marble mold for anything. No, I guess it's not. We don't make marbles. It's here. Oh, cool. It's here, but I use, but use just the, the back. I use the back. Side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right now the eyes are on. Almost. What's that tool almost. you're using now to make the eyeball? That's just one of these rakes. Like there a is, pick. Yes, like a pick. That I think it's called rakes. Um, but you, they, you get them in straight and you get them also a little bit bent. Okay. I also had a bent one, but I, I prefer the pretty straight and nice pointy ones okay that's just personal taste i think you get a lot of rakes on uh, when when you really research that cool you know what i i see without knowing that this is going to be an octopus mm -hmm. i see an alien we might have to try an alien one day an alien mm -hmm. why not If that turns out like a series, like with the ghosts, then we have a lot to do. <laughs> you guys have to go to our website and check out our ghosts. Yeah, the, 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 I, I still love the, 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 um, the Karate Boys. The Karate, yes. The Karate Boys. <laughs> <laughs> they are yeah, the best. They're hilarious. They are the best. Yeah, I guess we started doing the ghosts two years ago. Has it been that long? That we did Winky? Possible. Yeah, it's been yeah. about two years. I it was before the years. pandemic. Yeah. So I would say 2019. Mm -hmm. And it was just a hit. And from then on, Sandra started using her imagination and started going crazy. Yeah, as we usual. did. <laughs> 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 then she made some, some ghosts with the pumpkin lantern and it a light a really lantern. lantern. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're great. Our website is wgkglass.com. You can find our ghost there just in time for your Halloween decorations. You'll be able to find the octopus there and many, many, many more of our creations. I'm sure that we can find some more ghost ideas this yeah. year. We would see. Yeah. I mean, it. it we, we need to some, some simple ones always, mm -hmm. but you also have to have something that is really funny and just enjoying that people when when they come around and see all the ghosts that they have to love and i just i just like them it, it, even if they might not buy one they still i still want them to laugh about it yeah so that's cool i agree so i started on the first tentacle i'm trying to kind of get the direction it's not completely flat, it stands a little bit higher on the tentacles. There you are. So that's the first one. And I'm attaching two at least backwards. So this direction. That's always the most difficult to me because I, I tend to you tend to work in this direction in this general direction and yeah. that's kind of the opposite so but sometimes things are weird and I'm trying to really melt that in nicely with that round attachment that I made earlier So it really looks like it's always been there. Mm -hmm. That's the main purpose. <laughs> yeah. I also need to make sure that they are a little bit different. I think I'm going upwards a little bit. This one. Be a 
bit lower. switch off the handle on the body or whatever it's called that fat nose <laughs> <laughs> and hold it on one of the tentacles it's important to do that at this point oops it's not completely stuck yet good that I didn't make it hot yet <laughs> left of that handle on there. And I have to make that nose nice and hot again. And I have to do that several times while I'm working because I want that whole piece to stay, stay really nice and warm while I'm still working on it. That's really important because I don't want it to break. That I think is one of the one of the things that makes it more difficult because you really have to know when to heat up and how to heat up and how hot it has to be. Yeah, and that comes with experience. That, that comes with experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of breakage, I'm sure, is the experience. <laughs> yep, it is, and burning. Yeah. <laughs> That was that's where the, the the burning comes comes in. Yeah. So if people ask, did you ever burn yourself? Absolutely. That's <laughs> learning. That's called learning. So guys, that is a little preview of how we make our octopus. We will. You have to see the finished product by visiting our website, wgkglass.com. We have several different colors in stock or that can be made if you have any color suggestions that you want your octopus made in. Feel free to email us at wgkglass at aol.com or call us at 484-732-8247. Thank you guys for joining us.